Good evening. This is Tina again. Uh, how are you doing so far? Uh, we're gonna talk about another section of the query selector, which is work on the element. Okay, and it only has two operator. The first one is called exist. Okay, I copy from the, the official document. Okay, exist. It will match documents that have a specified field. The syntax is gonna be like this. Okay, you give the thing is on the inside the, the find or find one. And or you can also use in the update. Suppose you want update, you have a filter condition or you want to use in remove. Okay, it can also using those find, remove, update. Uh, I think that's it. Because when we insert, uh, insert probably, Insert doesn't need this one, right? Insert, insert, just insert document. Okay. So here, the same thing. You give the field name. Okay. Then you give the condition. Okay. Oh, sorry. Field name. You give the operator exp uh, expression, which is exists. And here, you give the boolean value. What's a boolean value? True or false. Okay, this is gonna do yes, uh, the field must exist or the field doesn't exist. Okay, and the type is gonna be the same field name. And you're gonna give also the expression operator, which is a type. And for the type, here you can give uh, two kinds of value one is a number, one is the string value of the type uh, number I I only remember this one string value okay we can check the, the official document if the number is two it represent the type for the field name the value of this uh, field name must to contain the string value okay so let's let me show you the first exist this example okay okay here still let's let me first find find the all okay this is currently all the documents, right? Um, okay, now I want to do is, um, I want to do something like this, okay? db.inventory and uh, find. I want to give the quantity is not uh, 20 or not uh, 30. How to do that? We can do is uh, like this. Quantity, okay. The quantity value is not a 20, it's not a 30. How to do that is like this. We can use the operator expression, which is not in. And here we give array, which is a 20 and a 30. Okay, let's see. Okay, so now here it returns the quantities, which is not in 20 and 30. But here, it also returned this document. This document doesn't have a quantity. It also returned, right? So we can use it exist. How to do that? Quantity not equals 20. And uh, here we can use it like this way. True. Okay. Got it? So in this case, we filter this one. See here? Quantity not 20 and 30, but we don't want this document to be returned, right? So we just add another condition, which quantity, this field must exist, okay? So doing, like, doing this one, it has implicitly exist equals false. Okay, this one we can do true, okay? If you don't want to have that document, okay. So next one is a type. Type, uh, type, okay. Type is gonna be a little bit hard to 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 specify. Oh, let me insert another one. Okay, uh, okay. Let uh, let me insert one. Okay. DB, uh, DB. So far, so far, so so far, all our quantity the type is a number, right? Let me insert one which is a string type. DB dot uh inventory 
inventory dot insert one. Okay. I'm gonna insert one document which is uh, uh, ID ID. Okay. Uh, item and I'm gonna have a name 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 yes uh, uh, name is book uh, code code is zero 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 okay and then I give a quantity quantity I give a string value which is uh, uh, 50 okay like this and uh, let's give a tags tags is uh, uh, a okay like this okay okay uh, a book is not defined, you know why? Uh, I forgot to use in quote because the string value has to use in quote. Okay, so now let's go. Okay, and insert. Let's let's search db dot inventory dot from. Oh. Oh. Let's uh, finish very soon. Okay, so if I want to search for the quantity, their value must have the the type must be a string uh, string value. What we need to do is using db dot inventory dot find and using the quantity qty and which the type. Okay. Okay, type, I think one is the number value. Okay, let's see. Okay, see here? One is the number value. It didn't give this one, right? If I using two, two is a string value. So you will only see the string type. Okay, I only remember this two. And if you want to see the, if you want to see all the values can be put here, you can go to the official document and go to the type and you scroll down. And here is all the all the values you can put number or alias, which is a string value. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.